Welcome to Department of Anatomy, Faculty of Medical Sciences, University of Sri Jayadunpur. Today, we will be demonstrating how to prepare a normal histological slide with an h &E stain. Mr. Nuan Pereira, who is our technical officer at Department of Anatomy, will be assisting me in this operation. The first step of this tissue preparation is taking the tissue which was sent from the postmortems or from the surgical theatres and uh, prepare a small segment from that tissue in order to fix it into the tissue cassettes. Today we have received a specimen of a liver. The tissue is preserved in the preservative medium called formaldehyde. There are multiple preservative mediums but commonly used preservative medium is formaldehyde. Before obtaining a tissue section, it is important to prepare the equipments that are needed for tissue cut-up. For that tissue cut-up, we will be needing a scalpel, a scalpel blade, a forcep, a scissor, a pencil, a ruler, a cassette which we can put the tissue sections in and piece of paper for the labeling and a small strainer to catch the specimens which are coming in the container and a petri dish. Now we will take the tissue specimen which we received from the surgical theatre or from the postmortem and try to take it out uh, from the container. We need a small strainer like this in order to capture the specimens. When we are preparing the tissues, it is very important in order to prevent the wasting of the uh, solutions. So therefore, we will be collecting the preservative method, uh, the solutions in the petri dish and taking out the specimens into the other petri dish. Now this is the tissue cassette. As you can see, the depth of this tissue cassette is somewhere around 4 to 5 millimeters. So, therefore, when we are taking a tissue thickness, it is very important to not to exceed the tissue thickness more than this depth of this tissue cassette. Now, Mr. Nuan will proceed with the cut up. So, we have received a quite a big piece of liver tissue from the postmortem or from the tissue. Now we have obtained a small piece from that specimen that we have received. So now we are going to put that specimen in the tissue cassette. Now we have obtained a small piece of tissue from the bigger specimen. Now and we have put it in the, the cassette. As you can see there is a border remaining freely in the cassette where the tissue can be freely uh, adjusted in the tissue cassette. Now we are going to label the tissue. We have taken a piece of paper. In the piece of paper we are going to write the name of the tissue using a pencil. Why we are using a pencil is because the chemicals can destroy the ink if you are using ink for the labeling. So after labeling it we are going to put the, uh, the label in the cassette and we are going to close the tissue cassette. This is the stainless steel basket that we are using in the automated tissue processor. So after preparing the tissue cassette with the tissue, we are going to dump the cassette into this basket and we are going to seal it with the, the lid. This basket will be taken to the automated tissue processor. This is the automated tissue processor that we are going to use for the next step of tissue preparation. In this tissue uh, processor, we have a certain number of chambers. As you can see, the first chamber is with water and the next chamber is the ascending concentrations of the alcohol. So for the initial part, we will be putting the stainless steel bucket into this water chamber.
in each bucket the this uh, basket will be rotated for nearly 2 hours as you can see we can clearly fix the stainless steel basket into the uh, tissue processor then we can dip the stainless steel basket in the water container in this tissue processor we have programmed our system to run to each basket in every 2 hours so after washing in the first uh, water bath the tissue will be taken and dip in the 70% alcohol bath for the demonstration purposes we will be putting the stainless steel basket manually with each and every basket but in this tissue processor it is done automatically so after washing in the first bath with the water the tissue section will be taken automatically to the next bath and dipped in the 70% alcohol likewise this tissue bath uh, the tissue pieces will be taken along with the 80% 90% and 100% ethanol solutions once in every 2 hours the main purpose of this alcohol bath dehydration is in order to remove the water content which is in the tissue so the ascending concentrations of the alcohol will gradually remove the water and replace the water molecules with alcohol molecules so as you can see here we will be moving from 70% to 80% and then into 90 and then into absolute alcohol baths
Now we are dipping the section in the last 100 percent ethanol bath. After the complete dehydration, we will be moving the tissue into 300 percent silane baths. The silane will replace the alcohol with the silane. Ultimately, the tissues will be embedded in wax. So, therefore, we need to have a separate bath, uh, the tissue in a wax soluble medium. So, we have initially removed the water using alcohol and then we are removing the alcohol and replacing it with silane. So, in this tissue processor we are having 3 baths of silane. So, we are dipping in the second bath of silane now. Each step which will run for nearly 2 hours. After completing the silane baths, the tissue is now dipped in the liquid paraffins. So, here we have two liquid paraffins bath. In the first liquid paraffin bath, we keep the tissue for nearly two hours. After that, we will be removing and dip the tissue in the next liquid paraffin bath for another two hours. So, this is the last liquid paraffin bath which will run for another 2 hours. At the end of this process that brings to the conclusion of the tissue processing part where the tissue is now fully embedded in wax. After the full process, now the tissue is ready for the embedding. Now we can remove the tissue, uh, the basket from the liquid paraffin bath. As you can see here, we can remove it closely and take it for the next step of tissue processing which is wax embedding. Now we are moving to the next step of the tissue processing. This is the wax embedding station. In this wax embedding station, we have the one on the heated side and the other side is the cold side. Now, Mr. Nuan Pereira is holding the completed the process tissue in his hand. Now, we are going to remove the cassette from the basket. Now, this tissue is dipped in the liquid paraffin bath in the tissue processor. Now, we are going to remove the tissue from the cassette. As Mr. Nuan demonstrate, we are, we are going to open the lid and now as you can see clearly, the tissue is very well preserved and we are going to embed the tissue with the label that we have already prepared in the wax mold. Now, as you can see, this is the wax mold which is filled with the wax and we are going to adjust the tissue according to the way that we need the tissue section. And then we are going to put the label and the part of 
the tissue cassette on top of that and in order to show the label we will make it in a vertical position. After the paraffin wax gets solidified, the mold can be separated from the wax block. As you can see here, it is very nicely preserved in this wax block. 